Hey everybody, welcome back. This is a video solution for problem 2 from quiz 5. So this is another find the convolution problem. So here we're given two exponential functions and we're assuming that the exponents are not the same, right? So this a not equal to b uh, is, is going to be important, of course, because if this formula is true and a was equal to b, well, we would be kicking a puppy and we don't kick puppies here. So uh, once again, we can go back to our, our definition of the Laplace, or rather the Laplace, the convolution. So e to the at convolved with e to the bt is the integral. Tau goes from 0 to t. e to the a, and now again, in the first component, we replace our t with t minus tau. So we use some parentheses, help set it off. And then in the second component, I have e to the b, and again, I replace my t now with tau times d tau. All right. Uh, before I go any further, it would probably be good to combine these exponentials. So why don't we do that? Uh, first thing I notice, I'm going to have e to the a t. And, well, we're integrating with respect to tau, so I could actually pull that, that even out. That doesn't... Uh, bother me so much, so I'll pull an e to the a t out, and then what's left over? I have e to the, okay, we're going to have negative a tau and positive b tau, so in total I'll have b minus a copies of tau, and then I multiply the exponential by d tau. All right, again, once we've gotten this far, right, this is no longer any sort of a convolution problem to worry about. This is just a definite integral. We can use the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay, we'll hold that exponential outside. And let's see, uh, an antiderivative for an exponential like this is usually just an exponential, e to the b minus a tau. Of course, then to compensate for the chain rule, we have to divide by b minus a. Okay, and then we can evaluate between 0 and t. All right, well, this is a constant. I can pull that out. So at the moment, I have e to the a t over b minus a. And what's left on the inside? Well, I'll have e to the b minus a t. And then I need to evaluate at 0. And, of course, this exponent then will go away, and I'll just get e to the 0, so minus 1. Uh, let's see, it doesn't exactly look like what we have, but that's not going to be too hard to fix. So first, I'm going to leave this 1 over b minus a outside, but I'll distribute e to the at. And when I distribute it, notice here, I have a, a, a minus at to go along with this plus at. So I'll just be left with e to the bt in the first component, minus, well, I distribute this in, and I get e to the at. And hey, that's exactly what we were expecting to get. 